entertainmentbuddha.com My fellow Walking Dead fans, Matt Haywood here from EntertainmentBoo.com for the final most impactful scenes countdown for 2015. All right, so the mid-season finale has aired, and it is called Start to Finish, and while it featured a main character death, it was one of the most underwhelming mid-season finales in Walking Dead history. I, like many of you, was expecting some sort of mind-blowing, heart-shredding episode to send the show on its holiday break, but what we got was surprisingly tame and left us with multiple cliffhangers to process until February. Wah! I know. Let's move on to the countdown, which features five impactful scenes, plus a bonus scene that featured a great visual metaphor for the Alexandria Walker invasion. <laughs> So, let's get the bonus scene out of the way, only because it was the first shot from the episode. I just loved the visual metaphor used with the ants in Sam's room, all flocking to a big yummy cookie, essentially representing what was happening outside with the walkers flooding into Alexandria to feast on a few meals of their own. Anyway, this scene didn't do much for the season's future direction, but I found it to be a great metaphor for how walkers swarm to their food sources like ants on a cookie, or my personal favorite, flies on shit. Okay, so the first true impactful scene is the battle between Carl and Ron and their subsequent lie about it to their parents. We know Ron wants to end Carl, and the Grimes is based on his stalking of Carl last week, but the Walker invasion thwarted his plans. While moaning about the loss of Enid in a garage, Ron finally decides it's time to kill Carl because they're all fucked anyways, but Carl uses his Rick's Grimes guide to surviving in a zombie apocalypse training to thwart the attack. Unfortunately, the rough housing leads to letting in a flood of walkers into the house they hold up in to plan their escape, ultimately escalating everyone's plans for how to best get out of Dodge. Curiously, Carl covers for Ron and vice versa, which will surely bite him in the ass in a future episode. The second most impactful scene revolves around Deanna, who got bit early on in the episode and is dealing with her mortality. She has a scene with Rick where she tells him that whether he likes it or not, the people of Alexandria are now his, and he needs to accept that, which seems to resonate with Rick, who up until now has had nothing but disdain for the Alexandrians. Deanna has slowly been working on Rick to accept this leadership role this season, so it now looks like he may honor her final words and add a few new members to his pack. <laughs> Carol and Morgan make up the third impactful scene from this episode thanks to their skirmish in Morgan's makeshift wolf prison. Early in the episode, Carol takes a fall and ends up with Morgan who keeps avoiding the elephant in the room, which is the wolf he's been tending to in his basement. Carol eventually tricks his ass and runs downstairs to find the wolf with Denise, who has now healed his wound. Carol threatens to kill Morgan to kill the wolf, but he stands firm and he knocks her out with a tombstone slam. Before he can celebrate his victory, he gets knocked out himself by the wolf who stole his bow staff in the melee. This leads to the wolf getting away with Denise at knife point, so she's more than likely going to be killed when the show returns in February. This will also lead to either an odd bond between Carol and Morgan going forward, or if Carol can somehow reunite with Rick, she may try to have Morgan cleanse from the group. Either way, it'll be interesting to see how these two deal with their fight when the show returns. The fourth impactful scene is Deanna's big finish, which sees her thread in the show officially come to an end. Rather than being put out of her misery by Michonne, Deanna opts to waste herself when the time is right, but once the walkers storm the house she's in, she decides to take a few out with her remaining bullets and goes out in a blaze of glory. It was a great end for an interesting character, one I initially didn't enjoy, but came to appreciate over the past year or so. She definitely left a mark on Rick, which will surely define how he acts moving forward. R.I.P. Deanna. (laughs) 
So the final impactful scene for start to finish is its final scene. Rick, Jesse, Carl, Ron, Sam, Judith, and Michonne use the old zombie gut dress trick to start to walk away from the walkers, which we know works from previous uses of this trick, but to ensure the disguise work, one must be quiet. Unfortunately for this little group of survivors, Sam can't seem to buy into the whole quiet thing as he gets louder and louder calling for his mom as they make their way through the walker horde, which will surely lead to a shit show of epic proportions once the show returns in February. I'm guessing that Sam's inability to shut the fuck up will lead to an early death for him once the show returns, as well as a few other tragic results for the survivors with him based on some comic book knowledge I've read about. There's no doubt that Sam will get himself killed and probably another one of his gut-wearing traveling companions badly maimed or killed too. Damn you, Sam, and your love for cookies. Start to finish is somewhat of a bummer of a mid-season finale, mainly because of how open-ended its conclusion was, but also because nothing major really happened, which is usually the case in these types of episodes. We didn't get resolutions to any of the season 6 threads yet. Glenn and Maggie are still separated, she's stuck in a lookout while he's still outside the walls. We didn't get to see any movement on the Daryl, Abe, and Sasha thread outside of a prologue clip, which quite frankly is more interesting than this episode itself. Either way, due to how this episode ended, there's no doubt that the show's return this February will be an explosive one, to say the least. That's a wrap, folks. I'll return in February with the show to continue these countdowns. Thanks, as always, for your viewership, and make sure to keep your browsers tuned to entertainmentbuddha.com to ensure that you're making yourself a better geek, one post at a time. Mom. 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 Mom.